Hello! I'm back from my trip to Chessenden and Fort Park. Except it's been over a week since I've been to uh, Chessenden and Fort Park. So I do apologise for uh, the delay in this vlog. By the way, so um, as you can see by the video title, um, this is the Chessenden and Fort Park vlog. And uh, just before we begin the vlog, I want to explain why I decided to put the two parks into one vlog. And that's because um, I was a bit concerned about um, doing two vlogs um, would, you know, um, take up a lot of my storage space on my iPhone. So I was a bit concerned about that. So I thought the best way to go about it would be to include both Chesterton and Fort Park in one vlog. So yeah, that's it for me really. Grab your favourite beverage, grab your favourite snack. The show is about to begin. Well, hello there, you're watching the official Bean Pop Fans YouTube channel, and welcome to the Chesterton and Fort Park vlog. Uh, I will be filming another clip before this clip when I get back home uh, to explain why I'm putting Chesterton and Fort Park in the same vlog. Um, so, there we go. But yeah, um, first, first stop is Chesterton, and um, this is our first visit um, back here um, in seven years. And so, like, this is only our second ever visit to Chesterton. And we're back after seven years, um, so um, it's great to be back here and um, I cannot wait to get on Mandrill Mayhem and of course get to experience a Gruffalo, uh, Gruffalo uh, Crop Drop, so that should be really good. As well as getting back on Vampire, uh, Dragon's Fury, I really enjoyed Dragon's Fury when I was here seven years ago. Um, but yeah, um, I, I, I can't believe it, seven years since my first ever visit and I'm back here. And yeah. Um, Come along and join me for uh, Chesterton and Fort Park. It's good to be back at the two southern parks. I'm Mordonio, you're watching Beanbank Fans, and it's time to open that intro. Let's, um, let's start our day here at Chesterton, shall we? Here we go guys, this is it. This is my first time seeing um, the world of Jumanji and Mandrill Mayhem in person. I'm really looking forward to it. We've just reserved a spot uh, for Mandrill Mayhem, so we'll be getting on it very soon. And yeah, it's good that Chesterton have put in a um, family B&M coaster in. That's got an inversion. See, there's the, um, there's the inversion. So yeah, let's go on Mandrill Mayhem. So we have just come off uh, Mandrill Mayhem. We did uh, two rides on the back row, which are facing backwards, and uh, we did one ride uh, facing forwards, sadly not on the front row. Um, but anyway, let's get straight to the point. Um, my thoughts on uh, Mandrill Mayhem, I, um, I liked it. I liked it. Um, I think it's the perfect coaster for um, um, I, it's a perfect coaster for a beginner who wants to do their first inverted coaster. And I do think Chesterton, I've got it absolutely spot on. Um, I do think it is a little bumpy in some places, but I think I could bypass that. Uh, but no, I, I think Chesterton have done an absolutely incredible job with uh, Mandrill Mayhem. You know, as I said, it's the perfect coaster if you're a beginner looking to do your first inverted coaster you know if you bring in your child and your child wants to do that first inverted coaster then Mandrill Mayhem is the perfect coaster uh, to do that um, so I think Mandrill Mayhem is not one of my top top coasters but I think I'll give it a good 7 out of 10 I really enjoyed it I, I do need to do a front row ride on it as well um, I, I do think I will enjoy a front row ride um, you know getting two different experiences um, one being on the back row which is backwards facing and then one on the front row so that would be nice um, but yeah there we go my first uh, few rides on Mandrill Mayhem and I am enjoying it let's go and explore the rest of the park shall we so we've just had a ride on Dragon's Fury and it was just exactly how I remembered it when I did it for the first time seven years ago and I must say Dragon's Fury is a lot better than Spimble Wizard uh, back at my home park Haunted Towers um, 
Maybe you guys can have a debate in the comments. Uh, do you prefer Dragon's Fury or do you prefer Spinball Wizard? Get comments in below. I'd love to see a debate in the comments, but I'm sure the majority of you are going to say Dragon's Fury. Um, by the way, I'm stood by a Tiger Ball. Um, Chesterton rethemed this um, a couple of seasons ago. I, th I think it used to be called Dragon Dragon Falls, I think. Um, but if it's not, then someone can correct me. And uh, suddenly it's not operating today, which is a bit of a shame because I was looking forward to getting a while of it. And uh, maybe it'll be open tomorrow when we're here for a day and a bit. I don't know, but yeah, just a bit of a shame, really. And it also leads me to the subject of um, log flumes. Um, obviously, we had the flume at Alton Towers that got replaced by Wicker Man, uh, Fort Park. They had. Uh, uh, Loggers Leap, was it Loggers Leap? Yeah, I think it was called Loggers Leap and that got removed uh, to make way for Project Exodus which is opening uh, next year. So, um, yeah, it's a shame that we've really only got uh, one log flume at, a, uh, at any mill and park, uh, which is a bit of a shame. I really do think, um, I know I'm not at Alton Towers at the moment, but I'd really love to see Towers bring back, um, like bring in a new flume maybe something similar to Chiapas at uh, Vantasiland and uh, as for Fort Park I'm not too sure but Towers definitely by the way on to the next ride we go so we've just had a ride on uh, Cobra I think it's all Cobra Cobra <laughs> and uh, just then we had a ride on Monkey Swinger where I got absolutely uh, soaked on my legs um, but no it was nice to ride a Monkey Swinger um, you know, it reminded me very much of um, Twin and Toadstool, uh, which needs to uh, reside at Alton Towers, and, and suddenly that's no more. Um, but yeah, so it was nice to get on um, Monkey Swinger and uh, Cobb, of course. Uh, we're still yet to ride Vampire, and of course, Gruffalo, which I'm looking forward to riding. Um, but yeah, um, on to the next ride we go. So uh, we've just done uh, Vampire and uh, the Gruffalo. Uh, Vampire, we were on the front row and um, I've got to say I can't remember too much about Vampire from when I was here for the first time back in 2016. Um, I can't remember if we did it on the front row or not but um, yeah it was alright. Um, I did find the seats a bit uncomfortable um, but yeah it was alright. Um, as for Gruffalo, um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the Gruffalo. Um, do I think it's a, it, it's as good as uh, the Bubba Works? Probably not, but I, I still enjoyed it anyway. Um, it, in, in some ways, uh, riding the Gruffalo, it kind of reminded me the first time I rode um, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory at Towers and when that replaced Tall Land Tours. It gave me that kind of feeling. Um, but no, it, it was alright, Gruffalo. It was alright. Um, I'm not sure what we're heading to next really, but yeah, that's uh, Gruffalo and Vampire done. So we did a ride on Cock Drop and just then we had a ride on Safari Ride in South Africa. Um, my thoughts on Cock Drop, I, um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I mean, the drop was a bit tame, but um, at the top of Cock Drop, it was really lovely because the side we were sitting on and we had a really lovely view of London in the distance. So that was really good. And uh, Safari, ride into Africa, I, it's how I remembered it when I last came here seven years ago and yeah, um, it was good, uh, uh, I got a good photo of a giraffe and um, yeah, so I don't know where we're heading to next but uh, what we have decided is that, um, so the original plan was, was that we were going to have a day and a bit uh, at Chesterton tomorrow but uh, we've decided after breakfast at the uh, Safari Hotel and uh, we're gonna just head straight to uh, Fort Park and purely because you know Rattlesnake is um, Rattlesnake is closed um, it's Scorpion Express is closed I mean Scorpion Express has been closed for quite some time now um, but yeah we're just gonna head over to Fort Park tomorrow straight after uh, breakfast at the Safari Hotel um, yeah, so it means like this, um, the Chesterton uh, section of this vlog is only going to be short, but hey, um, but yeah, until next one, I guess. So we went over to the Wanyama uh, Village and Reserve and we had a look at some of the animals there, which was 
a really relaxing um, and now we're just stopping for a bit of lunch um, I cannot believe it for the first time in months I'm having theme park food I, I cannot believe it I literally cannot believe it like I think the last time I had theme park food must have been around March April so I can't believe it but yeah I've just got some chicken there tenders some chips you know but yeah I can't believe it because now nowadays when I go to towers when I go to towers I just uh, get myself a sausage roll and a bag of crisps and yeah it's usually a lot cheaper when you do that as well because this um, this meal with annual pass discount was uh, 10 quid so yeah it is pretty expensive but you'll have to do I guess um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do after our lunch break but we'll soon uh, we'll soon decide so after we had lunch we went on another couple of rides uh, one of them being uh, river rafts which is basically a children's uh, log flume and I absolutely enjoyed it I mean it was only one drop but um, after that drop I got absolutely uh, soaked <laughs> uh, so yeah um, river rafts was a great laugh um, that was good um, then after that we did uh, Dragon's Fury again um, and after that we did Mandrel Mayhem where we finally got a front row round of Mandrel Mayhem which I'm really happy about and um, after that we uh, we went to Blue Barnacle um, that was good um, then after that we went to uh, we went to a Room on the Broom and uh, Room on the Broom it was a bit yeah disappointing and then after that we went and had a look at the penguins which was really nice and um, after we looked at the penguins we thought we'd call it a day um, and here we are and now um, a room at the Chesterton Safari Hotel I'll have to give you a room tour in a minute and um, when I came into the room I was surprised with not one but two uh, photo bar, so thank you Chesterton for that. I mean, I know it's photo, but it's still a nice little uh, treat um, for them to do because you know they didn't have to do that. I mean, I'm, okay, I know um, it's a small chocolate bar, but still, it's a nice little treat. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll show you a room, I'll give you a room tour in a minute, and then uh, we'll wrap up um, our day here at Chesterton before we move on to Fort Park. So here we go then, the room tour, so let's uh, start in the bathroom, you know, because why not? That's me. Mm. Got your shower, obviously. Got your toilet, <laughs> again, obviously. Got your toilet there, obviously. Mm. Got uh, two twin beds. So well as a uh, bunk bed for children. And then, this is our view. Uh, so the distance, you see the, I mean, that, you can't really see it, but there are gi uh, giraffes over there, the distance. And yeah, that's about it for the room tour, really. Now to wrap up our day here at Chessington. And just like that, I'm sat back down again. So yeah, that um, pretty much uh, concludes our day here at Chessington. I know we were going to have a day and a bit here tomorrow, but uh, we decided after breakfast we're going to just head over to Fort Park. Um, but yeah, um, I, really, I really have enjoyed my day here at Chessington, and um, I've really enjoyed Mandrel Mayhem uh, on the back row, uh, facing backwards, and um, on the front row as well. Um, it was good to get back on a uh, vampire as well. I forgot to mention on vampire, we, we were on the uh, front row, so that was good. Uh, it was good to get back on Dragon's Fury again. Um, it's so much better than Spimble was. Uh, sorry, Spimble, but uh, Dragon's Fury is a lot better. Um, and it was nice to experience uh, the Gruffalo. Uh, it was nice to experience uh, Croc Drop as well, so that was really good. Uh, my highlight from Chesterton, I think I'm going to say... It's definitely Mandrel Mayhem, but I don't know. Do I prefer backwards or front row? I don't know. Uh, uh, 
myself and I think, you know, I'm, I'm going to say backwards. I'm going to say back row, uh, backwards um, because it's, um, I know it's obvious, but it's a lot different if you're sat in the first um, six rows uh, facing forwards. Uh, don't get me wrong, front row was good, but uh, backwards was pretty good. And what about your highlight today, Dad? He hasn't mayhem. been in the vlog yet. Hello, hi. Uh, Madro Mayhem. <laughs> Madro um, Mayhem. Mandrill Mayhem. Opposite way. Oh, whatever it was. Mandrill Mayhem. Yeah, it was Mandrill Mayhem, isn't it? Mandrill Mayhem. Mandrill. 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 So, uh, backwards for you as well? Yeah, definitely. Nice one. And yeah, um, that's about it from Chesterton. But it's not the end of the vlog just yet. I'll see you guys at Fort Park in 3, 2, 1. And just like that, we are here at Fort Park and I must say the weather is looking absolutely incredible. The sun is shining down and whenever we visit Fort Park, me and my dad, the weather, it, it, it always seems to be nice to us. Like, I don't get it, but you know, you know what, I'm not complaining. Uh, I've got my uh, Gatanga Canyon t-shirt on, you know, I have to wrap the towers while I'm here at Fort Park. And it's also worth pointing out that um, Fort Park have currently got that, their October Fest event on, so that should be good. Yeah, um, it's good to be back here. My first visit back here since uh, 2021. And yeah, let's uh, get inside Fort Park, shall we? So we've just had our first ride of the day here at... Um, Fort Park, we had a ride on the Swarm and uh, we got on the front row and we waited probably about um, probably about 20 30 minutes, uh, which is not too bad. Uh, I don't know where we're going to go to next. Um, I think that's been the theme of this vlog like, not knowing where we're going to go to next. So, uh, but no, it was a good start to our day here at Fort Park, a front row ride on the Swarm. So we've been on uh, Nemesis Inferno on the front row as well and to be, to be honest it was really nice to uh, get um, back on Nemesis Inferno. Obviously with Nemesis being out of action at all the towers, it was, it was just nice to get um, on a b and um, So yeah, that was good. And uh, we've just done the Ghost Train and uh, you know what, it, it wasn't good at all and me and my dad here, we said it was cringe, didn't we? Shocker. Uh, it was just, oh, it was just awful. It was absolutely awful. Like, I just, it, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. Um, but hey, I'm not gonna let that put it down on my day. <laughs> um, we're just having a quick lunch break. Um, I ha I just had a sausage roll, and I've got a bag of um, Walker's cheese and onion crisps. So I'm gonna tuck into those shortly. But yeah, Ghost Train, I mean, it could have been so much better in my opinion, but it just didn't live up to my expectations and I think, I think Fort Park have got it wrong on this occasion. Yeah, that's all I have to say about the Ghost Train and I will not, I will try my best not to mention it any further in this vlog. Um, I don't know where we're going to go to next. Um, but yeah, Ghost Train, what a disappointment. So since I last vlogged, um, we had a, a back row round on Colossus, which was really rough. Uh, we then did a ride on Saw, which was good. And then uh, I just had another round on Colossus with uh, Lou, James and uh, Jeremy. It's good to see you three. And uh, yeah, it was good to have a round on Colossus with you three. Um, and it, it was really good uh, seeing Lou, James, and especially Jeremy, you know, I haven't seen Jeremy in uh, two years, so yeah, that was good. Uh, we're going to head over to our next van now, um, Vortex, and then after Vortex, I'm not sure what we're going to do, but I mean, you know the score by now. Huh? Oh, we might do Rush while we're here as well, so we'll probably do Rush and then Vortex afterwards. So after we had a ride and rush, instead of going to Vortex afterwards, we decided to come into the Fort Shark Hotel and check in, and we are finally in our room. Yeah, I mean, I've been to the Shark Hotel so many times now, so 
Uh, you know what the rooms look like by now, but yeah, there's my dad there, I'm just resting on the bed. Yeah. This is literally, this is literally the room tour, because it's so small. Um, but uh, Thorpe, Thorpe have brought in some uh, themed rooms. Uh, I know there's a f uh, themed rooms for uh, the Swarm. I think there's a few for Stealth and Sort, I think. Uh, I'm not too sure on uh, Stealth and uh, Sort, but I, I know there is uh, themed rooms for uh, uh, the Swarm. Um, but we just decided to go in the standard room, because why not? Um, but yeah, um, we're all checked in. And it's nice and cool in here because of the um, air con, which is really uh, useful on a day like this. Um, when the sun is shining down and it's so warm out there. But yeah, I think in a few moments we're going to head back on, onto the park and see where we go to next. Good morning everyone and as you can probably tell I didn't finish the um, vlog after I uh, recorded that clip of the uh, swarm uh, coming um, down the uh, first drop. Um, I, w I was going to finish it but um, you know I just uh, I just I, I, I don't know the best way to explain it but I just uh, I just uh, I don't, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, um, but uh, we, we ended the first day um, having a round of Vortex, uh, that was good, uh, then we went over to Stealth, uh, we had a front row round on um, Stealth, and then um, we had a back row ride on the uh, Swarm, so that was really good, um, and yeah, today is day two at uh, Fort Park, but I'm not going to vlog it because it's going to be pretty much the same. So that is pretty much it. I know it's a bit of an anti-climax ending, this, like, but, uh, <laughs> you know, th this is my first uh, vlog since uh, I did a Lissyberg vlog back in June. And yeah, um, I, think it has, I think it has been the best vlog, but... Uh, you know, I'm still trying to get back into it, you know. Still trying to find my rhythm, you know. Um, and hopefully I'll get back to my best every soon. But, uh, no, I, I I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was good getting back to Chattington. Uh, it was good getting back to Fort Park. And, but most of all, it was good to be uh, vlogging again for you guys. Um, you know, um, I've really missed uh, vlogging, so... Hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog. Anyway, guys, that is it for another vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I've said that one too many times now. Um, if you did enjoy the vlog, then please give it a like because it really helps the channel out. If you are new around here and you would like to become part of the Theme Park Fans family, then hit that then hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video. Um, don't forget to check out our Facebook page. As always, our Facebook page link is in the description is in the, the, uh, the description below and yeah that's about it really I know such an anti-climax ending <laughs> ending the vlog in my room at the Forbes Show Hotel but I hope you guys enjoyed it I don't know when the next vlog is going to be but I'll probably do um, an Auto Tales Oktoberfest vlog uh, because I didn't go to Oktoberfest for the um, first day of the event and well I went there for the staff preview, but I couldn't really vlog the staff preview. So, I'll look to get an Auto Tales October Fest vlog uh, out for you guys soon. Anyway, that's it for another vlog. I'm Ward Donu. You've watched Theme Park Vans, and it's time to close the video down. Bye, guys. From Fort Park Results. And I'm going to enjoy more rides on the Swarm and Stealth.